G'day guys, we've got a couple of algebra questions today where we're asked to solve the following linear equations. Now, these questions specifically involve fractions with different denominators. So what I'm going to go through today is I'm just going to go through my method of how to solve this and how to minimise where I think the uh, obvious potholes are. So let's go about this. Whenever we have these kind of algebraic fractions, so to speak, is we need to make sure that we have the same base so we can actually add the numerators together. So what we do is we have to find a number that we can put 5 and 4 into. So we're going to take 20. So let's just make a really quite a long line. And we're going to put 20 in our denominator. Now, what does 5 have to multiply by to get 20? I have to multiply by 4. So I'm going to stick a 4 at the top. And I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 4. So we've got 6 take 19 in the bracket x. And that's being added to the 4 has to be multiplied by 5. So I'm going to put a 5 there. And we have 9 plus 17x. And all of that is equal to 3. So now we have them all on the same base. What we can do is in the next step, I'm going to move the base over to the other side. So I'm going to times both sides by 20. And I'm going to multiply into these brackets. Cool. So I've got 4 times 6 is 24. Minus 4 times 19 is 4, 36, negative 76x. Then I've got plus 5 times 9 is 45. And 5 times 17, 35 plus 50 is 85. So 3 times 20 is 60. So you can see I've already dealt with the fraction here straight away. Now I combine my like terms. So my like terms are going to be, I've got 24 and 45. And I also have negative 76 and 85. So 24 plus 45 is 69. Negative 76 plus 85, we've got plus 9x. And that's equal to 60. So, once I've got this, I can take 69 from both sides. And I'm left with 9x is equal to negative 9. I'm going to divide both sides by 9. And then I'm left with x is equal to negative 1. Cool. So let's get started on the second one. The difference between this one and this one, and what I think makes this one a little bit harder, are two different factors. First, we have, we're going to have larger numbers to multiply, so the mental maths might be a bit harder. And as well, one of the common pitfalls is the issues that are going to be associated with that negative term in the middle. So what we're going to do, like we did with the other one, we're going to put them all on the same base. So 3 8 are 24, so I'm just going to draw a nice long fraction again. We've got 24 in the base, in the denominator. 3 times 8 is 24, so I'm going to have 8 outside 9 plus 5x minus 8 times 3. So I've got 3 outside 26 take 2x, and that's equal to negative 6. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out these brackets. So like I did last time, I'm multiplying into these brackets. And what I have to look out for is negative 3 times negative 2x is going to be positive 6x. That's important. I'm also going to take the 24 of the other side by multiplying both sides by 24. Now, if I'm going a bit slow here because I'm doing all the steps, that's just to make sure that you guys are well aware of what I'm doing 
And if you need to come back and check, you can see whether what I've done is matching up with what you've done. So I would never be doing all of these sort of times by 24 in tests or anything. This is just what if I'm starting out, this is kind of my like my trainer wheels, so to speak. So I've got 8 times 9, which is 72, plus 8 fives, 40, x. Then I've got minus 3 times 7, 26 is mm, negative 78. Then I've got negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, x. And that's equal to 6, 24, 12, 2, 12, 12, 144. Now, again, we're going to combine our like terms. So we have 72 and negative 78. And we also have positive 40 and positive 6. Cool. So 40 and 6 is 46. X, 72 minus 78 is negative 6. And that equals negative 144. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I've got 46X is equal to negative 138. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 46. And I'm left with x is equal to 46, 92, yep. Cool. And here is my other one. Now, so, going back to what I've done and where I think the issues are, the first step has to be to get the denominators the same so we can put everything on the same base. This is the first step and I think it's very important. Once we've done that, the second step has to be then taking the denominator over to the, the side that we're um, interested in. So we take it over to the 3 so we have no fraction anymore. We also then combine our like terms. So combining our like terms and taking the denominator over to the other side is probably our second step. Then what we do is like any linear equation, we just go through the motions to solve it. The hard part about the second question was this negative here. Specifically, the silly mistakes that can occur by taking that negative inside the bracket. Now, it's not complicated when you look at it not under test conditions, but I guarantee there are a lot of kids who will take that negative and they'll do something silly when they're multiplying it into the bracket. A negative times a positive is a negative, a negative times a negative is a positive. So just be very cautious when you have two fractions adding together, or, well, two fractions being combined with a negative in between. This needs to be a red flag, as in potential pothole could make a mistake. So just the reason I put this question in was so you guys can um, just identify that. So when you're doing them in tests, you know, you're good to go. So, you know, guys, I hope this video helped. It's not a very complicated question. I do a few of them just to make sure that you get the steps and that you become quite fluent in just getting from here to here as quickly as possible. But, you know, guys, if the video helped, sling us a like, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. I, you know, if you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comment section below and I'll try and make videos to solve them if I can't solve them in a reply comment. And yeah, guys, until next time, enjoy your maths.